Good afternoon. Welcome families, friends, and guests to the 2019 Higgins Middle School Moving On Ceremony. Our Higgins Middle School class of 2019 will be joining us momentarily. Once they enter, we will begin with opening speeches, followed by the presentation of special awards. We will then begin the presentation of certificates. I must ask that you please refrain from applause as our students receive their moving on certificates and cross the stage. We must ensure that all students are able to hear their names and that you, our Higgins families, are able to hear the name of your student. Please give this courtesy to our students and to one another. There will be plenty of time to applaud together at the completion of this presentation. I would also ask that you check your cell phones to be sure that they are on silent or off. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Grade 8 Moving On Ceremony for the Pegasus Cluster. I'd like to ask everyone to please rise as I invite two of our Pegasus students, Andrew DeRosa and Vanessa Demacus, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Thank you, Andrew, Andrew and Vanessa. These are always, uh, these moving on ceremonies are always special occasions as we celebrate the achievements of our graduating class as they move on to high school, whether it be to Peabody Veterans Memorial High School or any of the other schools that members of this class will be heading off to. This year is a little extra special in that this is the first class to have spent the entire three years here at the New Higgins Middle School. I'd like to introduce a few of the folks that are here to help send this class off this afternoon. First of all, the mayor of the city of Peabody, Mr. Ted Betancourt. <laughs> Superintendent of Schools, Kara Murtag. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Chris Lord. <laughs> City Councilor, Joel Sasla. School Committee Member Beverly Griffin Dunn. And representing Peabody Veterans Memorial High School is Dean Bill Kroll. Thank you for being here this afternoon and thanks to those of you who have been here for multiple ceremonies. For some of you, it is, this is the fifth of, of five. So thank you very much for doing that. We really appreciate it. Uh, to help us uh, kick off this ceremony this afternoon, I'd like to invite Mary Betancourt to the podium. Well, good afternoon. I'm extremely honored to be here all, with you all today at the Higgins Middle School for our Moving On ceremony. It's an important moment in the lives of our eighth graders. It is meaningful for two reasons. First, we are celebrating the achievement of an important milestone in the educational journey of our students, an opportunity for well-deserved congratulations in attaining this honor. But today is also a day to look forward in anticipation because our eighth graders will be going to high school next year. Some will go to Bishop Fenwick, St. John's Prep, Essex Tech, but most of you will go to Peabody Veterans Memorial High School to experience some of the best years of your life. At our high school graduation a couple of weeks ago, we honored over 400 incredibly talented and accomplished students with their diplomas many preparing for their next step in going on to college. We have students attending top colleges from across the country. It is something that makes me proud as mayor to see our young students having success and pursuing their dreams. It is important for our students to know that you can achieve all of your dreams from the Higgins Middle School. I could speak for hours, but I promise I will not, of graduates from Peabody who have gone on to do incredible things have incredible success. Did you know that two of the seven justices currently serving on the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court graduated from the Higgins Middle School? The highest court in our state. Those seven judges make decisions on the most important issues taking place in Massachusetts that affect all of our lives. And two of the seven sat right where our students are sitting right now. 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts and the city of Peabody has two graduates sitting among the seven in our highest court. Justice Kimberly S. Budd and Justice David A. Lowy recently spoke to Peabody High School students in an amazingly informative forum. Justice Lowy spoke about his time he enjoyed playing basketball at the courts at Emerson Park and Symphony Park. He graduated from the University of Massachusetts and got his law degree at Boston University. He spoke about not knowing what he wanted to do when he was in high school and not learning to love the law until he was in college. Justice Budd was number two in her class at Peabody High School and went on to Georgetown University for her bachelor's degree in English before going to Harvard Law School for her law degree. She is just the third African American to serve on the state Supreme Court. And that is just one example of incredible success that our students have, att have attained. PB graduates from the Higgins Middle School have become leaders in a variety of fields, in medicine, in the law, in business, in the military, in education, in athletics, in performing arts, in public safety, in government. From right where you are sitting, know you can achieve any dream in your life and pursue any goal that you would like to do. I want to congratulate you all for this important moment in your lives. I want to congratulate your parents, your families, our wonderful teachers, our administrators, all the people that gave love, support, and care and guidance to our students along this journey. 
Again, congratulations to all of you. I wish you nothing but the best in your future. Thank you. This year in total, there are over 470 of you that are moving on. And as you know, we are the largest middle school in the state. The size of our school and with it the abundance of talent, whether it be athletic, athletically, artistically, or musically, along with the intelligence and character of those of you sitting in front of us, is our greatest strength. It is with pride that we send you on your way to turn your dreams into reality. And to help do that this afternoon is Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Kara Mertag. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Busey, Mrs. Giganti, Mrs. Fine, Mr. Frenari, Dr. Lord, Mr. Kroll, elected officials, teachers, family, friends, and to you, the class of 2019. It's not every day that something is this special happens. Thanks to your parents, your wonderful teachers, your administrators, and all the support staff here at Higgins Middle School, we get to share this special moment with each of you, and it's an honor to do so. When I see you here today, I am filled with joy, pride, and love. Just three years ago, you came to Higgins Middle School as sixth graders, perhaps a little timid, excited, and curious about what lies ahead for you and your friends. You have grown so much, and what all of us here today can hope for is that you discovered a little more about yourself, who you are, what you like to do, and most importantly, how you learn. I believe as you leave here today, you carry with you four core beliefs. Help others through community service, be kind, be a good human being, and make good choices. As you continue your journey into high school, work hard, challenge yourself, make new friends, try new subjects, explore new interests, and most of all, strive for what you believe in. I will leave you with this, dream big, never give up, do your best, set a good example, and have a generous heart. We are all so very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2019. At this point, I'd like to take a minute to acknowledge the Pegasus faculty and staff, Ms. Lagagianis, Ms. Dean, Ms. Rosito, Ms. Powers, and Mr. Powers. With, we are so fortunate to have a group of professionals with the perfect combination of the desire to see their kids succeed and the understanding that it's those relationships that are the key to that success. Nobody exemplifies that more than the associate principal and guidance counselor that have been right alongside this class for three years with a caring and dedication that's second to none, and that would be Mrs. Giganti and Mr. Frenari. We'd like to recognize the achievement, effort, and citizenship of some graduating Pegasus students during these ceremonies. The first award is a scholarship that is generously sponsored by District Attorney Jonathan Blodgett. DA Blodgett could not be here this afternoon, so I am going to present the award on his, uh, on his behalf. If there are one word to describe our recipient of this award, if there are a way, excuse me, if there are a way to describe the recipient of this award in three words, they'd be moxie, poise, and sass. Moxie because she is fierce in her determination to be nothing but the very best. One can see this in her writing process, her study habits, and her relentless pursuit to not just know her material, but to truly have an understanding that is unparalleled by her peers. The second word to describe her is poise. This is due to the way she carries herself in her fierce determination to be the very best. This pursuit is well balanced with her desire to help others in accessing the material and with an after-school job. She never wavers and juggles everything with a plum that is well beyond her years. Third, and the final term to describe her would be sass. Behind her poise, just below that cursory surface lies a biting wit that might just be unrivaled across the cluster, and perhaps amongst her three siblings. She'll hit you with it when you least expect it, and it's always perfectly timed for when you deserve it the most. It should be no surprise that this student is receiving this honor today. She'll certainly be receiving many in the future. She is the paragon of excellence, and it is with great pleasure that we nominate Natalie Kwan for this deserving award. Congratulations, Natalie. Sorry, I should have mentioned that, Ellie.
We have three very impressive graduating Pegasus students that have achieved the lofty status of principals list for each of their marking periods this year at Higgins. That means they are leaving us this year with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. As I call them, if they could come forward, that would be great. Devani Fernandez. Ashley Milne. And Miguel Oliveira Bonea. Congratulations to the three of you. We have one Pegasus student in the class of 2019 that has not missed a day of school during her three years at Higgins Middle School. In fact, I, I believe the, it's the case that she has not missed a day in her entire school career. That's correct. It's a lot of pressure for tomorrow, but... <laughs> Please help me acknowledge Sabrina Diaz. Thank you, Sabrina, for your exceptional dedication and commitment to our school. All our schools. We rehearsed this ahead of time. <laughs> the Pegasus teachers would like to take some time to recognize some achievement, effort, and citizenship they've seen in their classes this year. To begin, I would like to call up Mr. Powers. So for my awards, um, I have a best effort and a best academic. I'll start off with best effort. Um, this student who is winning my award this year, I may have heard him speak seven times, but quietly in his work, in his studies, in his effort, was amazing. And on the rare chances that he would actually talk to me, which filled me with much happiness, um, he had such a dry wit and a keen insight that made me very happy. Um, the student that uh, I'm awarding for best effort is Andrew Liu. My other award winner, um, we often joke in D-Block, may rule the world, because we're pretty sure she might. Um, and if not, someday she will, because she is fantastic. Um, my award for outstanding achievement in social studies goes to Ashley Milne.
Congratulations, Andrew and Ashley, and thank you, Mr. Paris. And Andrew, it, is, um, it has been said sometimes that those that speak the least sometimes have the most to say, so keep that in mind. <laughs> to uh, present the award for English Language Arts in the uh, Pegasus Cluster, Ms. Powers. Okay, so for my two awards, um, first, I will tell you guys, I had the hardest time trying to pick because I just want to give all of you something. Um, <laughs> so it was really difficult for me to decide who was going to get this award because you know how I feel about all of you. Um, so for effort, uh, this person came in and maybe he still doesn't like English, maybe he does, but I hope he leaves with you know, a little bit of my insight to just continue to be diligent, hardworking, and just be a good person. Uh, Nicholas Silvati. And for academic achievement, um, this student, I was fortunate enough to have her in my homeroom, um, as well as in my English class. Another um, doesn't speak very much, um, but when she does have something to say, it's always kind. And I love when she participates because she offers so much to the class. And I hope next year in high school that she uses her voice, she finds it, um, because she always has the best things to say. Um, academic achievement goes to Emma Sylvia. Congratulations, Nick and Emma, and thank you, Ms. Powers. To present the, award, the awards for math in Pegasus, Ms. Rosito. Um, I did not have anything prepared. Um, I am a woman of numbers, not words. <laughs> um, my two awards are children that probably are going to least expect it. Um, they were surrounded by students in their classes that were high excellers, raised their hand a lot, and I hope that um, this takes them by surprise. This student was in one of my classes that she always did her homework, always raised her hand. I could count on her whenever no somebody wasn't ready to answer anything. Um, my certificate of excellence for effort in mathematics goes to Jessica DeRosa. My second award goes to Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. Um, this student consistently scored high on all of my exams, and I have been told that some of my exams are harder than MCAS. <laughs> so I am pleased to present this award to Noah Blake.
Congratulations, Noah and Jess, and thank you, Mr. Rosito, for, for uh, presenting those awards for math. And to present the Science Awards, Ms. Dean. Um, the first student who is going to receive my award for outstanding effort in science, I have had the pleasure of teaching for two years. Um, she was on Panthers with me. And this girl has infectious optimism and for the last two years walks into class saying, what are we doing in science today? Um, also just works so hard, takes such um, effort to do such a lovely job with all of her work. And I'm happy to present this award to R.N. Kenny. And my second award, which um, goes to a student who, uh, it was a battle between him and another student almost every day in class for who I was going to call on, because both of the students would pay constant attention, were consistently engaged in my class, knew the answer to every question. Um, if this student got below 100 on any assignment, it was absolutely flooring, um, Devani Fernandez. Congratulations, Ren and Devani. Thank you, Ms. Dean. Thank you to all the Pegasus teachers uh, for putting so much thought and care into those selections. Appreciate it, and congratulations to um, the academic award winners for Pegasus. There are two members of the Pegasus cluster that have been recognized statewide for their leadership, volunteerism, and community service this year. As PBD's ambassadors to Project 351, a Massachusetts leadership program with representatives from every city and town in the Commonwealth, these two students have given countless hours of their time serving with the First Lady of Massachusetts in her Wonder Fund initiative, the Greater Boston Food Bank, Haven from Hunger, and most recently they led the largest service project in the state of Massachusetts for cradles to crayons during their annual clothing drive which impacted the lives of thousands of children. Equally as important, they have done this with kindness and humility and it has been a pleasure and an honor to work alongside them this year. I would like to recognize Michaela Alperin and Carson Brown for their contributions to our community. Many of the families sitting in the audience today are finishing up their time at Higgins. For some of you, it's the end of three years. For others of you, it's six years or more. Regardless of whether you're ending your time with us or still have several years to go, I wanted to offer a heartfelt thank you to those of you that have been so giving of your time, either by chaperoning field trips, cooking for bake sales, helping with our PTO, our Performing Arts Parents Group, or setting up for the semi the other night that was one of the best we've ever had, uh, or any other number of ways in which you've given back to us. Volunteers are the backbone of any successful school, and we are so grateful for all that you have done and continue to do for us, so thank you very much for that. Thank you. 
And now it is with pleasure that we present these certificates of completion to the Pegasus members of a class that have made us so proud over the past three years. And for that honor, as well as to address you for one last time, I welcome to the podium Mrs. Giganti. Hi. Before we begin the presentation of certificates, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the families and extended families who are here today. I want to especially express my sincere thank you for your support over these past three years. Eighth graders, although this is the same room where we first met three years ago, I would say that this is a very different place today. Three years ago, you were young, nervous, and anxious. I was older than you, a bit nervous, and very anxious to get to know you all. Well, we have gotten to know each other, and I am especially proud of the young men and young women you have become. I know that you will continue to move on to do very great things, and that you will always remember that kindness truly does count, and that no act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. I wish you all the very best in high school and beyond. I know that you will accomplish great things moving forward. As I officially address the class of 2019 for the last time, I wish to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by the famous poet, Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. I extend my heartfelt best wishes to you, the class of 2019. Thank you very much. At this time, I would ask the Pegasus Cluster to please come forward for the presentation of Moving On Certificates. Liliana Ayala. If I could just remind you to hold the applause, thank you. Tyler Benoit. Kenanda Borlini. Victor Borsa. Luther Close. Danny Conigan, Andrew DeRosa, Sabrina Diaz, Joao Vita Ferreira, Camila Fialo, Samantha Gill. Hunter Jorgensen, Natalie Kwong, Nambula Kayanga, Erica Lendl, Andrew Liu, Ashley Milne. Emil Nasto, Alberto Pinto, Leonardo Santos, Ariana Scott, 
Taylor Summers. Joao Sousa Mora. Bailey Trachea. Daniel Ziza. Michaela Alperin. <laughs> Matthias Anderley. <laughs> Jula Esvido. Noah Blake. Carson Brown. Cameron Burdick. Marcelo Cacheta. Jessica DeRosa. Jace Dooley. Jordan Ellis, Eduardo Ferreira, Victor Freitas, Alana Gitlin, Fidel Colombo, Ella Louise. Michael Mastricola. Caitlin McCarthy. Miguel Oliveira Bonella. Pratham Patel. Michael Porcella. Ryan Saslaw. Ariana Servidio. Michael Stacco. Olivia Tinkham. Nina Setlin. Eric Aroki. Taylor Betancourt. Brian Bradshaw. Alexa Bueno Bishop. Bruno Correa. Vanessa Demacus. Christian Federico. Renata Feitosa. Jada Filsom. Justin Franco. Haley Ireland. Tanisha Chamendo. Reynaldo Lopez Torres. Victor Maciel. Leara Mariano. Adam Madrano, Emanuele Pacheco, Christopher Reyes, Caio Silva, Emma Silvia. Jayani Teixeira. Dariana Toribio. Brian Uribe.
Sarah Vieira. Holger Edemi. Rafael Batista. Allison Vicente. Cameli Cadion Reyes. Victor Da Costa. Brooke Dupre. Devane Fernandez. Juliana Fernandez. Chloe Gill. Bryce Jorgensen. Aaron Kelly. Alexis LaBelle. William Lopez. Wendy Mavros. Shailen Medalio. Joshua Mercado Rodriguez. Vincent O'Hara. Jacob Herrera. Anija Puckett. Nicholas Salvati. Rosalie Suarez. Michaeli Tallis. <laughs> Carolyn Torres. Please join me in congratulating and applauding the 2019 Higgins Middle School class I would ask the Pegasus class of 2019 to please rise. Before we formally send them off, one more time from this auditorium, I'd like to offer them congratulations and best wishes. Thank you for three great years. Uh, and parents, grandparents, and families, also thank you for your support of our school. Most importantly, your support of your kids. Uh, it really is appreciated on both our end and their end. This concludes our ceremony, includes all of our ceremonies. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day and a great summer. Thank you.